I'm sure you've seen the runway numbers and if you wonder what the runway numbers are, why they are so important and all of the things that you should know around this topic, this is the right video for you. Let's jump right into it. Hi there, I'm Gabriele from PilotClimb.com. If you are new to the channel, I'm a training captain on the Boeing 737 and I help you to become a better pilot to make your head around aviation. So if you are new to the channel, just consider subscribing so you will not miss the next content. Okay, so let's jump into the today's topic, the runway numbers. Okay, as you have seen for sure, these runway numbers, you've got two numbers, for example, 36, 18, 28, uh, 07 and so on. But why do we have runway numbers? The first thing that we need to understand is that we've got these numbers in order to identify the runway news. But what is the runway news? The runway news is the directions that the pilot, in this case you, you use for takeoff and landing. If you look at the flight radar, you will see that normally the aircraft will take off and land in the same direction. This is because you normally use the runway news that has the headwind, okay? Whenever you've got headwind, that's your runway news. So you want to take off and land with headwind, okay? So if, for example, you've got a runway that is like this and the wind is coming in this direction, then in that case, the runway news is the runway that actually makes you fly into the uh, wind, okay? With the headwind. You normally don't use the runway that has tailwind, okay? As you can see, normally an airport has got a a strip of asphalt, which is the runway, but can have two runway news, okay, one direction and the other direction, depending on the wind normally. When an airport is built, okay, there are a lot of studies before actually building the airport, okay, because they make the actual uh, asphalt strip, okay, depending where the uh, most prevailing wind comes during, uh, during the years, okay. Let's say you have a, a location where you have a wind that comes from north, and then since the wind is coming from north, they will make the runway in that direction, okay, because they want to use this heading because imagine if you have a location where the wind comes from north and then you make a, a runway that is actually a, a perpendicular to the north direction then you're gonna have for most of the time throughout the year crosswind which is not ideal you always want to have a headwind if it's possible or calm wind okay so now you can understand let's say that I'm a, you are flying, okay, you are flying to uh, your destination, okay, the controller tells you, okay, run use is this one, okay, run use is 05, for example. If you don't have the numbers, okay, the numbers actually helps you to identify what's the run news, okay. As you can imagine now, without any numbers, it will be very difficult to identify which is the run news, okay. So, but what are actually these numbers? What, why we've got some numbers like 05 for a runway, then we've got another runway with 07, another runway with 10. So let's try to understand what are them. Looking at the whiteboard here, we've got a huge run, okay? This is completely out of scale, but I want to make sure that the concept is clear, okay? And as you can see, we've got runway 27 and runway 09, okay? So, but what does this mean? These two numbers are actually the orientation that the runway has from the magnetic north, okay? Let's say the magnetic north is here and M, okay, magnetic north, okay? And if you draw the magnetic north from the center of the of the runway this is your angle okay in this case zero ninety zero degrees and the other case is gonna be 270 okay so the two numbers are actually the first two digits of your angle okay so 27 means 270 and the other one 09 means 090 okay but you can say fantastic Gabriele thank you very much it's all clear However, we've got 270 when you actually have 90 degrees of angle and you've got 090 when you actually have 270 degrees of angle. Why is that? Let's say you are on board your plane ready for takeoff and running to 7, okay? So you are going to take off in this direction, okay? If I draw the, the magnetic north again, what will be the angle, the heading that you're going to read in your flight deck? It's gonna be 270 degrees and that's why you've got actually the reciprocal there the number is actually the heading of the runway so it's basically where the aircraft will fly to okay so you are on the runway that makes an angle of 0 and 0 degrees however since your takeoff direction is 270 degrees you're gonna be running to 7 and the opposite actually applies let's say you are actually near okay you're gonna land in this direction okay what will happen is that you're gonna read 0, 90 degrees, okay? Because if this is the north, this angle is 0, 90 degrees, okay? That's why you've got actually the reciprocal, all right? So, now that this is clear, let's see and let's understand why we only have two numbers as a runway numbers, okay? Why we only have 0, 90 or 2, 7. 
You only have two numbers on the running threshold, like in the example that we just made, the running to 7 and 0 niner, because if you put all the numbers in there, it might create confusions when the ATC, the air traffic controller, will actually provide radar vectors to the pilot. Okay, radar vectors is basically when the air traffic controller tells the pilot to turn right on adding 180 degrees, for example. So as you can see, the runway, if you use the three numbers on the runway threshold, it might create confusion with the radar vectors. So a way to uh, correct this potential threat, potential problem is just take the first two digits and just put it in there, okay? So 270 means runway, uh, sorry, a, a runway that has got an orientation of 270 degrees will be running to seven. My question is, what will happen if your runway orientation is actually 271, 272 for example? Nothing will happen, still running 27 will be in there because uh, the number actually, let's say until uh, 274 is actually rounded down to the next uh, 10. So runway 274 will be runway 27. Runway 276, 278, 277 will be actually runway 28. Okay, the same applies in the, case, the example that we made before, or running 093, for example, will be 09er. Okay, fantastic. But let me ask you this question. What happens if you have a huge airport with multiple runways? Okay, whenever you have multiple runways on, the, on the, an airport, what will happen is that below the number, you're actually going to have a ladder. Okay, so let's say you have two parallel runways, like in the example that we made before. In that case, you're not going to have only the runway 07, uh, sorry, 09 or 27, but you're going to have runway 27 left, 27 right. 0, 9 left and 0, 9 right, okay? So you will see that below the number, you're gonna have a, actually a letter that is R for right, L for left, and as well, if you have three runways, which could happen, three parallel runway, one's gonna be runway 27 left, for example, the center run will be, will be running 27 center, and the right run will be 27 right. Okay, there are some airports that is a completely big mess because it's huge, it's full of runways, like the Chicago International Airport, I think has got like eight, nine runways, and there you actually have more than three parallel runways. So the 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 thing that we just saw about the 27 left, 27 center, 27 right, it will not work anymore because you cannot make two runway, two seven right, for example, okay? So what, in that case, what will happen is that, let's say you have four runways with a parallel runways with the same orientation, in that case, what will happen will be two seven left, two seven center, two seven right, and then the other runway will be actually with a different number, okay? What normally happens is that they change the number, will make instead of two seven right two, for example, will have been two, two eight, okay? So, you don't get any confused once approaching the, your airport, okay? The biggest threat is that, let's say, you fly every day to the same destination, which has two runways, and normally you always use one runway, okay? So normally, let's say, in the example that we made before, running, zero, the, running to seven, for example, you have two parallel runways. So in that case, you're gonna have two seven left and two seven right. If that happens, and you always land to seven left, for example, every day, one day the controller will switch to two seven right, and that, Maybe what happened as well in the past, not to me fortunately, but happens as well that the pilot will actually land in the wrong runway because they've been landing for every day for, I don't know, five, six years and the same runway, then suddenly they change the runway, they just, uh, they're used to land that runway. It happens that some pilots actually made a mistake and landed in the wrong runway. Not to me, thanks God, so far, touch wood, but that is a big threat, okay? So now that we know what are the numbers and the letters that are in the threshold of the runway, let's jump into the Madrid chart and we analyze the Madrid airport. Okay, looking at the whiteboard here, we've got Madrid airport Jepsen chart, okay? So we, as you can see here, we've got four runways. So this, this is one runway, this is the second runway, another runway is here, another runway is there as well, okay? So as you can see, we've got four runways. In this case, we have three to left, three to right, okay? And actually, on the ground, you will see three, two, and then the L below the number, okay? Just to give you an idea how big are this number, the number three normally is nine meters long and three meters wide, so it's quite a big number, okay? Then the number two and is another nine and three, so it's like a huge number, okay? It's quite a big number, okay? So as we said before, if we will have had another run here on the center, okay, let me draw in here, okay, this run will have been actually called 3-2 Charlie, okay, 3-2 centered, okay, but in this case we only have left and right, so 3-2 left, 3-2 right. Then you've got running 3-6 in here, 
three six right and three six left and running one eight left and one eight right okay always remember that this is the orientation from the magnetic north okay the Madrid airport has got a north and south configuration this configuration is used and is changed depending on the wind so if you have a strong wind coming from the north they will use the north configuration however if you have a strong wind coming from the south they will use the south configuration okay as you can see from the Madrid airport they have for runways however they use normally two runways for takeoffs and two runways for landings let me explain you how does it work Looking at the chart in here, whenever they have a north configuration, so that means north configuration, okay, you need to go in that direction, north, they will use runway 3 to right and 3 to left for landing. So you come in here and then you land in there. And for departure, they're gonna use runway uh, 3 6 right and 3 6 left for departure, okay? So even though it's a, a north configuration, they will not allow you to land on runway 36 right or 36 left, okay, 99.9% .9 of the time, all right? When they use the south configuration, however, they will use running 18 uh, right, 18 left for landing because south configuration, you are coming from north and landing on south, and for takeoff, they're gonna use running one for left and one for right. Okay, so as you can see, every airport has got their own procedures, okay, but now you know what the numbers are, why they're used, and the letters as well, it is very important, okay. I want to close the video by telling you that the magnetic north doesn't stay in the same position forever, thus what will happen is that the reference that you use to find the orientation of your runway, it will not stay forever, because the runway stays there, okay, of course, it's a strip of asphalt, it's gonna stay there, however, since the magnetic north changes with the years, what will happen is that you might I have to change the runway numbers okay because your orientation might switch to the next number and the airport and it has to change the numbers on the runway they have to change all the procedures the LSs, the non-precision approach and everything so it's a big deal for the airport when the magnetic north actually change position and they have to change all the paintings and so on so I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also go to paloclimb.com where you can subscribe for free palo training content. Again, if you have any questions, leave in a comment below and I will help you out. I wish you a great day and I'll see you soon.